So how can you practice your Hojo Jitsu techniques by yourself? Uh, I like to find creative ways to get around problems. So I found an old hoodie and I found an old duvet and a bit of rope and I rolled up the duvet nice and tight, wrapped rope around various points along the duvet and then stuffed it inside the hoodie down the arms. What I did before this was simply got an old towel and rolled up the towel and put that down one each down each uh, arm instead so it doesn't really matter what you use uh, if you get a couple of towels they'll end up about the same length as each arm more or less and then you don't have the big bulk around the neck uh, place in the middle of the practice dummy but let me show you the next piece so the next step in this is to take your jacket put it on the back of the chair and get yourself a plastic food tub or something similar size and shape now i'm not using a tin i'm using a food tub that has a slight cone shape to it so that when i put it on top of here as the neck it has a widening as it goes up and the rope won't slip off the top so this is what you do get this put it inside the jacket or the hoodie in the neck position and then go around the front and get your drawstrings from the hood. So it's good to choose a hoodie that has the drawstrings. Then what you can do is tie a reef knot here, nice and tight to hold the jacket on the chair and to hold the uh, tub in place at the top there. And then you can have yourself a practice dummy with a neck which really helps for some of the techniques because they go around the neck. So now you have your practice dummy and you get your rope bundle, your Nawamaki which you can use to practice tying your rope techniques. So this pulls out very quickly and what we're going to do is create a quick loop here to demonstrate how you might apply this. So you would go on the inside of the wrist here for example, slip that over the wrist, tie that nice and tight and then Go inside this arm, under here, round the neck, outside this arm, and then go through here to bring the rope over this rope that's coming down, and you get a nice matching pattern. And you can then bring the other arm up, do a quick loop over that arm, go behind these two ropes that are coming down in the V, open up a big loop, pull that over there to capture the wrist again with a lock, pull this tight and you have your technique applied. These arms are not able to separate or release and to add a bit of the artistic, add a bit more to the artistry of this because everything in the Japanese way of doing things has to have an artistic value. You have this beautifully matched but simple design you can then apply through the center of here a rope chain by pinching, creating a loop and pinching through the loop. And that we, you would bring up to here, for example. Put that behind the neck rope. And you can continue to extend this out and then you get a very functional but great looking rope chain which strengthens the rope, uh, but also is quick release. So I can pull this out and the whole thing comes undone. Back to here. The lock remains on the wrist so the prisoner can't escape, but you then have a longer piece of rope to deal with your prisoner. Practice, enjoy.